During the Second World War, Hungarian composer Béla Bartók fled to America, hoping to forge a new career. But he failed to make much impact and became seriously ill. Soon after, he was diagnosed as having leukemia. Whilst in hospital, Bartók was visited by Serge Kusevitsky, the conductor of the Boston Symphony Orchestra. He asked Bartók for a new work, uncertain if it would ever be written, but hoping that the advance would help cover some of Bartók's medical expenses. Bartók threw himself at the challenge and wrote the entire Concerto for Orchestra in just 55 days. It's a stunning showpiece that requires some staggering virtuosity from the orchestra. The music is divided into five contrasting movements rather than the standard four found in a symphony. And it begins with a wonderfully atmospheric phrase played by the cellos and basses. <laughs> Bartók create that ice-cold atmosphere? Well, in the opening phrase, the cello moves almost entirely in fourths. The opening gesture from the cellos and basses gives way to a rather curious sounding phrase from the flutes. If we listen to the higher flute part again, Notice that we're simply rising upwards through the interval of the fourth. So far the title, Concerto for Orchestra, seems to be misleading because the promise of a vibrant work isn't evident in the opening bars. So how does Bartók plot that transition? Well, he takes the opening phrase and he starts to develop it, stretching it upwards like so. And finally, the flute breaks free and starts to shine as a soloist. This short solo is infused with a rhythm borrowed from Hungarian folk music, and it's by far the easiest rhythm to spot reappearing throughout the concerto. The flute solo finished at exactly 1 minute and 38 seconds into the concerto. But how can I be so accurate? Well, Bartók has inscribed his score with precise timings detailing exactly how long each section should last. It's an incredible detail, but it's also an important milestone because by this point Bartók has revealed his key musical ideas. Soon after, the orchestra explode with the first main theme of the movement. <laughs> One of the most challenging aspects of the concerto is that even though Bartók was inspired by the world of folk music, he doesn't write tunes that you're going to go home singing. This first theme of the concerto is athletic and energetic, but it's also incredibly angular and it's full of fourths. The second movement is entitled The Game of Pairs. It features a series of duets for wind instruments that are linked together one after the other in a chain-like structure. Bartok brilliantly captures the character of each instrument. Although he seems to have forgotten his obsession with fourths, he's just as particular about his harmonies as each pair of instruments play their duet, harmonizing using just one interval. So the bassoons play a sixth apart, with that spacing preserved for the entire duet. The oboes play harmonised in the third, the clarinets the seventh, 
and the flutes play using a bright and clear fifth. <laughs> 